It's been a long time since Xiaomi bought a real flagship to India. The Mix 2 is here now and unsurprisingly, it's pitted right against one of the most popular phones of its segment, the OnePlus 5. Now, I've been spending quite a bit of time with the Mi Mix 2 and in today's video, let's see if this Mix 2 is a phone that I can recommend. But before we do it, if this is your first time here or in case those mesmerizing bezels have caused temporary amnesia, my name's Ash, you're watching C4 Retech. And if you do end up liking this video, make sure you hit that like, subscribe and bell icons. If you hate it, do let me know what I can do better. We are always looking for ways to improve. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Hmm, the Mix 2. Where do we start? The build, of course. Now this is probably the biggest USB of this phone. The sleek build, an amazing screen to body ratio. The Mix 2 has an aluminum frame with a ceramic back. This ceramic back looks absolutely stunning for about five minutes. Then all you see are fingerprints and smudges. It is also quite slippery and I ended up using the included case a lot in my time with the Mix 2. The back's quite reminiscent of the original Mi Mix. In fact, Mix 2 retains a lot of design cues from the original, but at the same time also brings about quite a few key changes. For example, the display is now smaller at 5.99 inches and the aspect ratio is now 18 is to 9, meaning it's narrower. The resolution is also Full HD+, 2160 by 1080 pixels, that results in a pixel density of about 400 pixels per inch. That is perfectly acceptable for anything outside of VR. The display is reasonably bright, the viewing angles are great and the colors appear natural. For some reason though, this display doesn't give me the same oomph as the one on the original. Maybe since I've been spoiled by Infinity AMOLEDs. Maybe because the bezels are larger on the Mix 2 this time around. Yes, the bottom bezels are 12% smaller, but we now have a bezel up top. It's not all bad since it also means that the cantilever piezoelectric acoustic sensor that thing that I spent a lot of time memorizing, that is now out replaced by a regular earpiece. This greatly helped improve call quality. We had no issues with cellular reception either. By the way, this earpiece also doubles as a secondary speaker. It is not too loud, you almost don't notice it, but it is better than nothing, I guess. The audio via the primary speaker is quite decent too. What is really annoying? is the fact that like the Mi 6 and the Mi Note 3 before it, the Mix 2 loses the 3.5mm headphone jack too. Xiaomi does include a Type-C to 3.5mm converter in the box and here's a fun fact. Though Xiaomi's been doing away with the 3.5mm headphone jack a lot, you know, quite a few models, all the equalizer options that MIUI brings with it, they aren't available with even Xiaomi's own USB headphones. Anyway, what else? Um, oh yeah, we get support for dual sims, but no micro SD as always, that's kind of expected. Now, underneath the hood, Xiaomi's gone with the best that Qualcomm's got to offer. The Mix 2 is powered by the flagship Snapdragon 835 mobile platform. There's a lot of power here. There's also a lot of RAM here, 6 gigs. The variant sold in India comes with 128 gigs of onboard storage. In China, they do have 64 and 256 gig options available. And there's even an all ceramic variant, one that uses ceramic to the sides, unlike aluminum you see here. And that one comes with eight gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of onboard storage. Now, anyway, coming back, the performance here is top notch. Whether it's intense tasks like gaming or something casual, like consuming media, the Mix 2 had no issues whatsoever. Talking about consuming media, there is one little caveat. Now, the 18 to 9 aspect ratio is quite new and many apps don't have support for it where some brands like Samsung have gone with adding an option to force manual support for it. Xiaomi doesn't give you such an option. If you do get the Mix 2, be prepared to see quite a bit of black bars. This is something I really hope Xiaomi could add, you know, add an option to force it soon. As far as software goes, the Indian retail unit of the Mix 2 comes with Android 7 Nougat with MIUI 8.5 on top. And let's not really waste time talking about MIUI 8.5 since Stable MIUI 9 comes to India early November, probably the day this video goes live or a couple of days later. Even on MIUI 8.5, the Mix 2 performs very well. Xiaomi's improved RAM management a lot. It's just a little while back we were seeing devices with MIUI struggle with RAM management. Now though, 
Xiaomi is doing very well. Now, all this is supposed to improve even further with MIUI 9. Would you guys want me to do a little revisit after stable MIUI 9 comes out? Let me know in the comments below. So powering all this hardware is a 3400 mAh battery. Yes, the capacity is a lot lower than what was on the original Mi Max, but the battery life continues to be excellent. I was easily able to get through a day of moderate to intense usage on a single charge. On days where my usage was quite light, I even got through the entire day with about 50% juice left. Xiaomi's done an excellent job here. This phone also has support for Quick Charge 3.0 and the Mix 2 can go from 0 to 100 in about an hour 45 minutes. Next, let's talk cameras. The Mi Mix 2 sports a 12 megapixel sensor to the, to the back. This is basically the same IMX386 sensor found on the primary camera of the Mi 6, but Xiaomi has kind of downgraded the lens on this guy. The aperture is f2.0 compared to 1.8 on the Mi 6. And there's no secondary camera either, obviously, so no portrait mode shots. That's a little disappointing given that a lot of phones, including their own much lower priced Mi A1, have jumped on the dual camera bandwagon. That said, the 4-axis optical image stabilization does return. Outdoors, under good lighting conditions, the Mix 2 captures some excellent photos. They're sharp and have a great deal of detail. There's a bit of software over sharpening at play here, but it's not too bad. Zooming in, be it the window or the design above it, it's all crisp and clear. Here's another image. The detail levels on the motor inside is great. The color representation is quite accurate. On occasion though, it tends to warm things up a bit. Doesn't happen all the time, but worth mentioning nonetheless. The dynamic range is decent, not the best we've seen. The road here does look kinda dull. Given the lens downgrade from the Mi 6, I had little expectations from this camera under low light. But much to my surprise, I found it considerably good. It is a strong reminder that on paper specs don't always translate to real life usage. We even found the pictures to be better than the ones shot with the OnePlus 5. The images have relatively less noise. The color reproduction is consistently good. The detail level is great. It's no pain to read the registration plates on this image or check out some tiny details on the vehicles themselves. As far as videos go, the Mix 2 can shoot 4K videos at 30 frames per second. Sadly, there's no option to shoot 1080p at higher frame rates, not even 60 FPS. The good stability is thanks to the presence of 4-axis OIS. The footage is very sharp. The colors are a tad oversaturated, not a deal breaker, just worth a mention. The dynamic range is quite good here. There's considerable level of detail from both the highlights and shadows. Overall, I was pleasantly surprised by how well this camera performed. It came quite close to the Mi 6. Well, this is a much needed improvement over the camera that was on the Mi Mix. I just wish Xiaomi had included the same optics from the Mi 6, given that the Mi 6 is actually priced cheaper than the Mi Mix 2 in China. Now, to the front, the 5 megapixel shooter performed extremely well. Well, 5 might sound too less. It actually captures some real sharp selfies. They have a ton of detail, natural skin tones, and good colors. The dynamic range, again, isn't great, the main problem here though with this camera is that awkward placement of the camera. The angle is unflattering and your hand often ends up getting in the way of the shot. And while Xiaomi does let you turn the phone around to shoot selfies, that doesn't work for something like Snapchat, Instagram or even WhatsApp. But that's about. There is a little workaround. An app called Ultimate Rotation Control that lets you force auto mode. So you can turn the phone around 180 degrees and it would flip the entire app even on apps that Xiaomi doesn't support it for. Well, this is not a perfect solution. There are some glitches from time to time. I did find it very useful in my time with the Mix 2. So if you guys are getting a Mix 2, do check it out. I hope you find it useful too. Now with that, let's talk price. The Mix 2 retails for 36,000 rupees in India and is available for about $550 on various sites for, with global shipping. At these prices, the Mix 2 is positioned right against the OnePlus 5. So should you get it over the OnePlus 5, well, here's a card to a detailed comparison of the two. Do check it out. The main cons here, the rear camera, well, it's definitely good. The lack of a dual camera setup means portrait mode functionality that we've been seeing almost everywhere these days is missing. The software might be a con to some, especially if you prefer a close to stock implementation. The workaround for the selfie shooter might be another, but if you can overlook these, I'm sure you'd be happy with the Mix 2. It is a head turner with a great display, impressive hardware, software that flies all the time without compromising on the battery life. 
this mix you know mix makes the mix to an excellent phone i know i know it, it just sounded a lot better when i was writing it believe me so anyway guys that's it for my two cents on the mix 2 what do you think is this a phone you'd personally get let me know in the comments below if you hated this video i'm pretty sure you know what to do but if you did like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and for more videos like this hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet if you've already subscribed hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified each and every single time a new video goes live here on c4 retech and if you know friends or family that are interested in the mix too or are looking to get a phone in this price segment please do share this video with them and that's pretty much it Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this year is Ash. You've been watching C4 Redeck, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye bye.